Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to go over another quick mind map, this time of Qatar, okay? So I've been doing these mind maps for nursing students and nurses just getting out into the field. If they need to just kind of brush up on a topic, this is a great way to do it. So let's get started. So Qatar, what is it? So it is a buildup of mucus in the airway or in a cavity of the body. So what are the signs and symptoms that that will be seen with a patient with this complication. Consistent need to clear the throat, feeling that the throat is blocked, a blocked or stuffy nose, a runny nose, post nasal drip, persistent cough, headache or facial pain, reduced sense of smell or taste, a crackling sensation in the ear, and sometimes temporary hearing loss. Now, how is Qatar diagnosed? So the general practitioner will do a physical physical exam and assessment on the patient and this is how it is diagnosed. Now what are the causes of this? A cold or other infection, hay fever or other types of allergenic rhinitis, non-allergenic rhinitis, and nasal polyps. So how do we treat this? We're going to avoid any allergens or smoky places. We're going to hydrate with cold fluids, saline nasal rinses several times per day. You're going to avoid warm or dry atmospheres and over-the-counter medications that we can use are decongestants, antihistamines, and uh, steroid nasal spray. So I hope this quick mind map did give you all the information that you needed about this topic, but that's all I have for this video, guys, and I hope to catch you in my next one. Bye for now.